Hey, hey, welcome back. This is our third Target palette. So we've done three of these now. Super excited to unbox this one. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got this time. Uh, I paid $481 for this one. I think in a little bit of change. That's with tax. Um, you know, we have to drive a little ways to get this. We probably spent about $100 between gas and food for the family and stuff on these trips. So if you want to account for that too, we're talking about $581. So and that's a rough estimate for what we have here. So we're going to go through each box, go over this stuff, and uh, let's see what we got this time. Okay, first off the bat is a mirror. Another massive mirror. These things are awesome. Uh, this one's wood framed. I'm going to not show you my reflection, but uh, this is a wood frame mirror. The last couple we've gotten have been metal framed, and which has been significantly better for what, uh, or we believe to be significantly better, I should say, for resale. So we'll see how this wood one goes. We did already look this one up because it wasn't in a box when we unloaded the pallet. And this is a $70 mirror at Target. So, you know, we've been getting roughly $35 for the other ones, which are also $70 mirrors. So we hope to get that for this one as well. Hey, second big ticket item. It's this big clock. Um, it seems like it's in, in good condition. The, uh, I guess these are probably aluminum. Uh, hand here, minute hand is bent a little bit. You know, we might be able to bend that back in place or just kind of sell it as is. It does look really nice. Otherwise, it looks nice. We'll have to test it, make sure it works. Um, hopefully, get a little bit for that. Oh, okay. Third item here. This is a desk chair. This is a $200 desk chair. We'll have to pop it open, make sure all the pieces and parts are here. In our first pallet, we didn't have great luck with larger items as far as all the pieces being there. There was a, a shelf and a curtain rod and a handful of other things that we just had to throw out because they were missing too much. So, um, but in our second pallet, which was actually not as good as the first pallet overall, but the big ticket items did have all the pieces. I don't think we had to throw out, we had to throw out one smaller curtain rod. That was it. Everything else had everything it needed there. So hopefully we'll get all that again this time uh, with this chair. Cause again, it's a $200 desk chair. We've been selling everything for around half retail. So, you know, hopefully that's what we get. First mystery box. First mystery box. Of course, this one's a little torn. Okay, it's a lot of clothes. We've got some uh, Cat and Jack girls underwear, some children's masks. There is a curtain on the top. And we've got clothes. Let me dig around and see what else we've got in here. Oh, okay. We've got um, one of those padded kitchen mats you can put by your sink. You know, if you're standing there for a long time, be comfortable, or by your stove. We've got a headband, another headband, some uh, broken earrings. Those are those are my style. Fifteen dollars for those. Holy cow! Uh, 13 gallon bag, Ziploc, generic Ziploc gallon bags. They have been opened. It looks like they're probably all there, most of them anyways, so we can use that around the house. And then there's like several of these down there. I won't pull them all out, but it's a, uh, again, it's slightly padded. It's a runner for a kitchen or the laundry room or whatever. Um, so, you know, so places you stand frequently, but you know, it's a bit of a longer, narrower rug. Oh, these are some shiny purple pants. I like those. I wish those were men's. Um, we've got another rug. So I, there's three or four of these in here. Got a rug, an area rug, some sort. It's all right. Uh, some Gerber, terry cloth, washcloths. Got a pink brush just so many clothes and clothes are good we're planning on having a yard sale about a week um you know, we've been getting one of these a week for a timeline for you guys and uh hopefully this weekend we'll have a yard this upcoming weekend so one week from today we'll have a yard sale we'll be able to burn through a lot of these clothes um 
got a Beyblades toy that is in a very open package. I have no idea if everything's there or not. Um, I'm sure that this thing is only a few bucks new in the store, so it might not be worth much of anything, even if all the pieces are there. Oh, I just realized this headband had a skeleton bobbly that's missing. It might be in the box somewhere, and then we can put it back together. Um, one last dig through here before going to the next thing. All right, so including this one, there are five of these in this box. And that's that, so I'll pack all this up, and we'll get the next box. Lots of clothes. I'm not going to go through all these clothes, but, you know, jeans, purple pants, curtain, masks. It's a lot of kids' stuff in this one. A lot of kids' stuff. That's cute. Good season for that. Next mystery box. Oh, we've got a tractor driving by. That's a combine. That's a combine. Can you pause it for a second? All right, that's mostly gone. All right, next box is also, once again, mostly clothes. We've got a lot of pantyhose right off the top. Fashion tights. You know, th these are good things because if they're worth anything online, it's a single listing. So if we have multiples, you know, like this, uh, that, that's good for us because we can just get it out there. Um, we have a toilet brush. At least it's new. <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. A pair of uh, kind of chunky sandals. Are these sandals or wedges? They're sandals. Sandals. There we go. Bunch of clothes, <laughs> socks, girls' shoes, size 12. Those are cool. Those. More sandals. Oh, these are not the same pair. There we go, sandals. Again, one listing, multiple pairs. That's always great. Let's see, oh. Hide and Eek Boutique Unicorn Wig. Actually has a horn on it. My kids might look like that. My middle child was a unicorn last year for Halloween. Halloween is right around the corner in real time. I don't, I don't know as compared to when this will come out. Which is funny because there's a lot of Halloween stuff in here. Uh, we have a skeleton cake pan. Make a skeleton in a coffin. Let's see something else. That's neat. That actually probably do... Something like that might do well in the yard sale. We've got a smushed basket hearth in hand with magnolia. That is. You know what that looks like is when you have to make a, like a tower out of marshmallows and toothpicks. So like it, and like, then, like it melted. Stack books on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, what else we got? Oh, we got a big box down here. What's this? Oh, neat. It's a children's toy, baby toy, safari zebra. It's like a wooden. Uh, abacus kind of contraption. Zebras. Let's see, I'm just trying to dig past all the clothes. Girl, boot, just a single one. Hopefully, there's a match. There's a bunch of this little. I have no idea what this is, but they're little. Maybe you stick them in a pumpkin or something. They seem to be like Halloweeny. I don't know. Uh, easy find lids for. Your Rubbermaid stuff. You know, we have a bunch of Rubbermaid stuff, so we might keep this, but this just seems to be the lids. So that's fine. Good. I think actually lids are not the problem we have keeping. Oh, yep, there's the... what that is. So a little pieces to that. Oh, another box of lids. Let's see. A oh, bunch of tampons. Got leggings. More sandals. Holy cow, look at this. Whole baggie of makeup. That, I mean, that could be worth a lot. Or it could be worth just a little bit if this is all cheap stuff. But nothing seems broken. One, one thing maybe seems used, but everything seems like ready to go. So that, that could be really good for us. And, and makeup will sell online. Um, more tampons. Bunch of tampons. 
some cocoa gloss and some Batiste Instant Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo. Alright, one last check. Everything in here else seems to be clothing. All kinds of various clothing. There's that other boot. That's good. Yep, and the rest is clothing of various kinds. So we'll box this up and get on to the next one. Next box. Holy cow. This is a big one. Oh, and this is this is some good stuff. This is like random stuff. This is what we like. There's a little bit of clothing on top. Hopefully the whole thing's not clothing. It's got a Speedo back float swim trainer. It's fall right now. It's This is like, what, early October? And uh, October 10th, I think, as I record this. And uh, so swimming season's kind of over. But the good news is don't get too caught up on what season it is where you are. Remember that if you're selling on eBay, you have global shipping. It is somewhere, somewhere. It is summer, somewhere. Almost all the time, you know. People are gonna be swimming in Florida. They're gonna be swimming down in, you know, Australia, Brazil, South Africa. Like the Southern Hemisphere is all experiencing summer in the middle of our winter. So, but even places Florida, Arizona, California, swimming still happens. So it's good to have this kind of stuff online because it could be hard to find in stores. Got a dog toy, bone and a rope. Gain Scent Blast. Cool. So that's what, just... It's just a scent booster. Doesn't actually clean anything? No, it's good for like blankets and stuff. It makes them smell clean longer. Uh, or like your towels, it might sit in the cabinet for a while. Okay, we've got a couple of those it looks like. Um, we have a bunch of these things of deodorant. I probably won't pull them all out, but we have men's and women's uh, degree deodorant. Roll on deodorant. They come with like a little extra spray on deodorant, I think, a sample. We also have a bunch of these. I probably won't pull them all out, but a bunch of Speedo uh, swimming goggles. We had a bunch of Speedo swimming goggles in the last one, but they were kind of the large, you know, half face goggles. So let's dig a little further. Okay, so we've got this Trolls World Tour Chia Pet. My kids actually really like this movie, so hopefully they're not looking out the window right now, because this is probably someone's uh, Christmas present. I'm just checking to see if it's broken. The seeds are there. Oh, ho, ho, dope. She is all together. Not smushed at all. Put the seeds back in, so this just became someone's Christmas present. Put this on this side. Hope that they didn't see that. Okay, yep. You know, just a bunch of swim shoes. There are a bunch of swim shoes in here. I won't pull them all out. We've got some Batman shoes that were clearly worn. That's that's funny. They're not like really worn, but they're clearly worn. So they do light up. Na -na 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 Batman. Zebra. Second zebra on this palette. Got some sponges. And all that stuff we might just keep, you know, but it saves us money to not have to buy it. Women's hipster underwear, size medium. I'm a little weirded out by that. It's probably clean, but you never know. You gotta check that stuff. Um, so that's just a bunch of clothes. There's some Lion King slippers. It's just a bunch of swim goggles and swimmer shoes on this side, plus the deodorant, stuff like that. So, a couple pieces of clothing. What's this? Boots and Barkley, uh, dog bandanas. You know, that's kind of good stuff for the yard sale. We're gonna have more dog toys. Holy cow, there is so much deodorant in here. Some stinky people. Ooh, what's that? Um, this is a sea urchin, I do believe, that you'd hang on your wall. Wall urchin. They just lost some garbage. Make sure we pick that up. Another combine. Another combine. Is this a towel or a blanket? Yes. 
<laughs> it's a towel blanket. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep digging through here if I'm not seeing stuff. There's some masks. Oh no, that's not a mask. That's a arm speedo armbands for kids. For the pool floaties. Floaties. Right, I think that's it. I mean, it's there's some random stuff like scrunchies and whatnot in there that you haven't seen, but that's basically it. This is a lot of the same stuff, and you know this might actually be worthwhile selling online. The regional original MSRP on these was fifteen dollars. So, you know, if we could get 10 bucks and not a lot of people are listing swimming goggles over the course of the winter, you know, we might actually be able to corner a market there. So that's, that's good. So I'll pack this one up and we'll move on to the next thing. Okay, next box. Ooh, I hear metal. It's cookware. It's right on top. Got an Amusa, what is this, like cast aluminum or something? There's a recipe, it does not say what this exactly is, but nice little crock of some kind, Dutch oven. So that probably has some value. Oh, here we go. Yeah, cast aluminum, called it, called it. Got some flag football kits. Looks like we have yellow and Two teams of four players. Cool. Little thing of hand sanitizer made with aloe, but it's missing the, uh, it's like an aerosol hand sanitizer or something. It's missing the pump. Got an area rug. Funky. Got, um, oh, these are some really ugly window panel shades with green palms, pom-poms that on the other, on the, uh, the side, the border. Ugh. Right, that's a, this is a curtain, it's a generic curtain. Some sandals, put those with the other shoes. Nice. There's a towel that definitely got something on it in the store. Um, some kind of shampoo. Oh no, it's hair and body spray. Metallic hair and body spray. Gets you nice and shiny. Like gold member. Uh, this is a desk lamp, LED desk lamp, but the base is all kinds of cracked. So that's probably garbage. I don't think there'll be any resale value in that. Some Halloween uh, little pails. All three of them are there. You know, that's probably good for the yard sale. Is this thing not shattered? These things are always broken. Uh, yep, there it is. The lid's a little... lid in this corner cracked. Womp womp. Garbage. Uh, another lamp. Like a marble base. Um, ooh, that looks kind of jacked. We'll have to see. If that's any good we'll test that but i mean if that one works it's good someone just needs to get their own shade got a minions dog halloween costume uh band for i'm guessing probably an apple for fitbit versa Ooh, the wheel of fate oh, uh, is there a try me oh this thing is this thing is destroyed Garbage. Uh, light filtering balance. And actually, I've pulled everything out of this box. The, uh, I don't know, this is something. It's vegan and cruelty free. It's a Protect Matt Shear from Pacifica. $12 original. So, cool. Pack this up, we'll get on to the next box. All right, next box. I think this one's a lot of clothes. These boxes are falling apart on me. Okay, let's see here. Lichtenberg. What is this? Window shear. Oh, oh, what is this? Oh, bummer. We'll get back to that. 
This is, I think this is shampoo or something. Ooh, Axe! Oh, no. Axe shampoo <laughs> and a thing of deodorant, which is a little, a little slimy. I'm guessing from the shampoo. Yep, it's from the shampoo. This deodorant is brand new, but it is gross, and it'll all probably just get hucked. That sucks. We have this uh, pitcher, which actually looks nice. It might be a good shelf piece, but it is very much destroyed. So, bummer. Seems that immaculate bubble wrap did not do a good job. Um, ooh, faux leather shaping leggings. Size medium. A shirt, a Rolling Stones kid shirt. Extra small. Some more clothes. We'll skip the clothes. What is this? Uh, this is a large gray and white curtain without the original packaging. Oh, here's another one. So we do know what it is. Hey, we have a set. That's so, good. Cool. Yeah, great. That's a lot. There's a set. It's easy to set up. It's hard to sell a single curtain. Yep. Here's one. Yeah. It, this is a different color, but it's the same, same idea. Maybe someone bought like a bunch of different colors to kind of see what they would like. Yeah. Okay. This is also a different color. Oh, uh, this is a Ahsoka costume from Star Wars. It does not look like everything's probably going to be in there, but we'll check it out. Again, it's right before Halloween. We might be able to sell those things. If we don't sell them, here's more of those curtains. I'm ruining this packaging. That packaging was already ruined. Good. It's not me. <laughs> Let's see, another... This looks like a table runner. That's a table runner. All right. Uh, metal water bottle. Actually, so we had a couple water bottles in the last one. They're doing all right, especially the kids' ones. Kid, uh, parents like to have their kids to have water. <laughs> the ear got ripped off. This is the kind of stuff we can't have in our house for exa exactly this reason right here. So that's garbage. Another, oh, girl power water bottle. All ladies in my house, they might like that. Meyerson's Clean Day Dish Soap. I'm guessing this is like aromatherapeutic household products. Cuts grease, biodegradable. Cool. Well, here's another one of these. Hey, we can take the other one off and make one. <laughs> Between the two of them. Oh, these are maternity pants. Maternity clothes do really well. Um, we've got some bat lights or dragon lights. I think these are dragon lights. And uh, a couple other little Halloween things. Some random clothes. There we go. Some uh, nail polish. So that's the rest of that box for you to see. I'll box it up. Check out the next one. Next mystery box, and we have we have one item. We've got a lamp. I love lamp. Uh. I don't know. Who knows what it's worth? Let's see what it's worth. Oh, I do have my phone on me. Let's see, we'll check out uh, eBay. No way. Alright, okay, sold. Check sold comps before I go spouting off numbers. Holy cow. Sold. $50. Free shipping. It's already in a box. Let me know if you want it. 50 bucks. Oh, there's actually the uh, receipt for this is in here. It doesn't have the price on it. This is a gift receipt. Cool though. 50 Somebody bucks. did not like their gift. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll, we'll open it. That might be factory sealed. I think it's factory sealed, but I'll double check it. And uh, if it isn't factory sealed, I'll open it. Always got to open stuff that's not factory sealed, make sure it works. I'm going to pull a bunch of this stuff forward, and we'll go through that. All right, let's go through all this stuff first. All right, another random box. Right off the top, we've got this kind of generic activity tracker. Doesn't have the original MSRP on it. I imagine it's probably not worth a lot because I don't recognize the brand. Um, Jim's is the brand, probably five, ten bucks a pop. 
think that's all of them. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So if we assume $5 minimum, that's $30 right there. They're all the same color, kind of a puke green. Same color uh, wireless charging pads. I like wireless charging pads. That's what I try to use. A pair of wireless earbuds. Heyday is the uh, brand on the all, all this stuff. Well, not the activity trackers, but the charging pads and the headphones. Heyday is the brand, which is like Target's electronics brand. Uh, car charger, another Heyday. Bunch of clothes. All these clothes are swimwear. A lot of swimwear. Which again, not gonna complain about swimwear even though it's October. You know, people go on vacation in the winter, they need a swimsuit. Good place to find one is online. So, that's actually that it. Yep, that's it. So, whole box of swimwear, some random electronics. It's a good box though. Alright, next box. This is a very used Hamilton Beach coffee maker. That thing is, that's kind of gross. It's uh, just, it looks sticky. It smells very strongly of coffee. I'm not gonna touch this just yet. Um, so the, the truth of the matter is this thing's kind of gross, but I will, we'll look up comps. It's probably in here because it doesn't work, be my best guess. But, you know, something like this carafe, which could just be run through a dishwasher, you know, that might be worth selling online. It might not be, and all this might just end up in the garbage, and we'll have to find out. But, yeah. Gross coffee pot. That's, that's a disappointing box. We've got this lamp. It is open, so I'm just going to pop it open. And, uh... Well, I won't pull it out any further than that, but that looks all right. Um, this is different than the last lamp that I showed you. I actually think it's a different brand altogether. So, another lamp. These are probably, you know, sell these locally. We might be able to get 40 to 50 bucks a piece for them. Um, you know, it's just a tall floor lamp. Looks like it's probably six, seven feet tall. Oh, five foot 11. So it's about six feet tall. I stand corrected. That lamp that I just showed you, 90 to $100. Damn. Uh, another box. A little Scotch Brite uh, dishwasher thing. That's yard sale. Ripped up. Gift bag. Some socks. Some tea light candles. These are great. We do a big family pumpkin carving contest every year. So, and we're doing that tomorrow. If everything goes to plan. So, have a bunch of tea lights for the pumpkins. Another pair of faux leather leggings. This one's out of the package. Another activity tracker. Uh, Vivitar's the brand. A uh, This is a phone mount that you actually stick in your CD player in your car. I've never seen one like that before. Um, some random earrings. Looks like all but one of them are there. Oh... Uh, this is one of those like uh, tomato or onion cutters, but all the piano wire is uh, ripped out. So that's that's garbage. Oh, that's like my garbage pile. Okay, this is a oh. this is a dress that looks like. Oh my god! I'm gonna say that's a coffee stain. Yeah. I'm gonna say that's a coffee stain from that coffee pot. Uh, conditioning caps, so like shower caps those oh a camelback bottle or contigo not camelback but still those are good i got a manscaped nose trimmer the weed whacker manscaped is a good brand um it's open box it works i am a little grossed out by that but that might be worth something we'll check that out you know, hair trimmers and stuff like that can be worth money. A uh, pair of pants. We've got a couple things of essential oil. A relaxed blend and a happy blend. 
and ooh, ultimate coloring and activity book. It's ripped. So. All right. I just went through the last several boxes on camera and none of it recorded. Well, not all of it. Most of it recorded. We missed the last several box, handful of boxes. So I'll just recap them. Big old box of swimwear. This is all swimwear. It's probably a couple hundred dollars worth of swimwear to us. It's probably maybe four or five hundred dollars worth of swimwear retail. Um, each each piece is probably twenty to thirty dollars, maybe forty even in some cases. And uh, I showed those price tags on camera. You have to take my word for it. Um, so that that's a good box. This box had a lot of random stuff. We had this uh, curling iron and. Um, I mentioned earlier, but again, it's not on camera, uh, that we got a couple items like this in the last one, and they were, uh, uh, one was not what was in the box, but this one's factory sealed, so that's good. You know what, I'll do a quick, I didn't do this before, I'll do it now. A little price check using the eBay app. Scan the barcode. Filter to sold items. About $30. So that's good. There was a bunch of hosiery in here. Pantyhose, stuff like that. You know, that, that's worth something, you know, maybe at the yard sale. Handful of shoes. But here's the great thing in this palette is a bunch of these same pair of brown shoes. So, you know, one listing, multiple sizes. Hey, here you go. Put it all online and it'll just sell itself over time. So. A lot of money there. Sorry the uh, recording screwed up, so you missed a few items. Um, there was some bottle, I have like 12 bottles of the same thing as shampoo, some exploded toothpaste. Uh, I think I showed all the desk lamps. And, and that's that. So, I mean, I hope, uh, I'm sorry you missed some of it. Um, I gotta better monitor whether or not my camera's recording. That's a, that's a lesson for me. So, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we will buy more pallets. Next week we're going to have a yard sale because we've bought three now. We've sold the vast majority of stuff, but we do have a lot of stuff that just kind of, it's kind of hard to move online. And it's even kind of hard to move in Facebook Marketplace. Things will be selling for $5 and less. So we're going to have a yard sale next weekend while the weather's still nice holding out this fall. And then hopefully, uh, you know, everything works out. We can uh, clear up some space and then we can start buying more pallets again. So we're probably two to three weeks before we purchase our next pallet. I don't release these uh, videos in real time. Um, so you right now I haven't even edited the second pallet, but I'll get on that. And uh, that's that. So like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know all the good stuff. Uh, if, you, if you like what you're seeing, if you, if you think uh, this is a worthwhile endeavor, um, this pallet way better than the last pallet. Um, and you'll have to take my word on some of that because not all of it ended up on camera. But again, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.